I enjoyed it actually. I didn't have much chance to participate in many, many, many things, but but it, it looks like um, the audiences are very, uh, very uh, enthusiastic about it and some good people, you know, they really like movies and uh, they appreciate, you know, talking about it. I think it's great. I think it's really wonderful to to have uh, so internationalized basically uh, these events and you know, to have people come from all over the world, get together and uh, exchange ideas. I think it's very very important. It's really incredible that how much easier it is today to achieve basically anything that you have in your mind actually because you have fast films, fast lenses, uh, so, so, and, and, and you know, this, you have the study cam, you have, I mean, so many new gadgets and tricks, you know, that you get used to the, so that all helps us. And uh, basically, I mean, you have to talk about digital photography also, I mean, and then you have even more, you know, tools, you know, so which add to, the, to this whole thing. So it's interesting today that, um, uh, it sounds a little bit too complicated what we have to do. We have so many different ideas and so many different tools and all that. Now which one you use when, you know, that you have to know that. Absolutely not. I mean, I think, I think the more tools you have, the more you need a professional who can decide which tools you use. I mean, I don't think that, uh, I mean, we, have, we can talk about something else. I mean, of course, you have fast film and fast lenses and, and digital photography. You know, we can just turn the camera on and you actually can have an acceptable image without even lighting something. I mean, true, you know, anybody can basically make pictures, but are they, they, they images good enough? That's always the question, you know. Is, 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 it, is it actually a... Uh, advantageous that uh, that we maybe don't have to light something and uh, achieve an image. I mean, uh, this is going to be uh, uh, an argument, you know, for a long time because I personally don't like flat photography. I don't like all to get all soft light effects. I sometimes it's good. Sometimes you know you want to have a documentary look. Sometimes you want to make it look like it's not lit. Yes, that's fine, that's wonderful. But you know, yeah, if you are doing a, a dramatic picture, you have to actually light it dramatically. And, and the new technique of a soft lighting and not lighting is not going to make that, you know, it's, it's going to be boring. And many, many pictures today, you know, you see many movies. For me, it's, 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 it has that boring look, you know, when it's not lit right. Well, you know, George Lucas said that 10, 10, 15 years ago, and it's not dead yet. So it's, you know, it, I think, uh, I think film has a longer life still than, than many, many people think, because for superior quality, I think you still have to use film, because uh, the images what you are getting with, through film is, is, is just so fantastic that uh, digital imagery cannot even come close to it yet. So, you know, wh whoever wants to, to, to make big canvas pictures, you know, they will still have to use film. I don't say 65 millimeter, but they can use 65 millimeter or IMAX. Or, you know, those are the big images today, which, which everybody thinks they are superior to anything, but you, so far we, we've seen in digital photography. Yeah, we have been using that technique, and we have been using before background projection, you know, for moving shots. I mean, we, we used blue screen 15, 20 years ago, green screen. I mean, these are all the tools, you know, what we have to use when something is not there. Of course, you know, I mean, you, you cannot, you know, find locations which existed in 1800 or something like that. So you have, you know, manufactured those, and, and that's part of our job, and then we are, we cannot be against it. I mean, of course, you know, you have to do all kinds of movies, and. Uh, and digital photography and uh, digital intermediate actually is going to be help us in the future to make our movies even better. 
you know, I, the ideal situation at this moment is to start shooting on film, go to a in, digital intermediate where you can really do miraculous things, you know. You can, you can maybe make our movies look much better if you go that way than, than printing directly to film. So we have, we have, it's like a new tool, this is great. But at the end, at the moment, we still have to go back to film because digital projection is the future, that's true. And it looks beautiful. I think digital projection at the moment, it's much better than, than using digital camera for, for recording, actually. Because uh, we can uh, uh, put a digital projection side by side with film projection, and you will see that it's hardly any difference there. And there are many, many theaters, I don't know if you have them in Frankfurt, digital screen is digital. We have a lot of them in, in, in America now. I mean, we have not, not a lot of them. We have in Los Angeles, maybe 10 or something like that. But it's, it's, really, it's really great. I mean, it, it's an improvement. We don't see scratches on the film. And, and you know, you can project them forever. And you know, it's not going to deteriorate. Well, I would recommend him first to pick up a still camera and do a lot of still photography first and uh, find out, you know, what, what images are about, you know, what, what the lighting does to everything. And, and I would concentrate, let him concentrate more on lighting. Because I think lighting really is everything for me. I mean, when, when you look at all the classic films, all the best films of all, all times, actually, actually you will find out that the lighting is the difference. When the cinematographer can light and create mood and uh, be becomes like, um, like in old paintings, you know, which, which reflected the, the times when they were painted, you know, like the Dutch paintings, you know, are really incredible because you can, f you can feel how life was in those days. And, and uh, I, I think uh, uh, you have to concentrate on, of course, of uh, other tools, you know, like composition. There's a lot of things uh, a young filmmaker has to learn.